we, uh, Jimbo was talking about uh, kind of the competition practice. I know you guys been going at it, uh, getting heated a little bit. Is that a good sign? Yeah, it's a good sign. It's more of a good sign that now instead of hitting each other, we're ready to hit somebody else. Yeah. You know, that's just that's a, that's always been happening in two days. You know, you know, guys are tired of being around a whole bunch of guys every day and seeing the same person every day and doing the same thing. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 practice take a toll on you, on you yeah. mentally. And like today, I I don't, I'm I'm too, I'm not too much of a, a, a troublemaker or you know what I'm saying talk crap. I just but I I, I kind of felt the same way as the rest right. of my teammates. They just going against get after each other, do what we got to do, and get off the field, and you know what I mean wrap things up. And it's been a pretty pretty good two days. You know what I mean we we compete we competed this offense all two days and gave them a good you know what I'm saying good matchup this this, this two days. Actually, I feel it's the best two days that I ever experienced as a defense. So, you know, we compete and try to make plays and make our make team better. So. Does Steph carry over? Like, if somebody beat you on a play one day or two days ago, do you remember that guys? Um, as if, if I feel... For me, and, I, and it's a lot of say, if something happens, we try to. If it ain't good, we try to. We try to remember it, but we, we know that we gotta we can't get beat on that play because, you know, Coach Fish, he always puts you in a situation that you to see what you how you gonna handle the situation. And you know, as a, as a we'll play going on for an individual, we try to we try not to remember. It. I think you've been around this defense, obviously, for several years, and you talked to all the players, and the coaches seem so different. I mean, how different is this offense from a year ago, or defense from a year ago? Um, it's a lot different. It's, uh, I actually give us a lot of, um, give up, me and my, a lot of my teammates a lot of opportunity to make, make plays. And, and it's, it's, I, I feel it's more... It's more comfort, you know, because yeah. in the past, you know, we, we were basically ran man to man. And you know what I'm saying? Sometimes it can be lot, tough on, on, on an individual. Like I said, I but you don't run, run the zones. All you got to do is know it. You got to trust your teammates. You know? And that's the big thing. Coach um, Stoops and Coach Huston, they, 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 really, they preach that a lot. Just trust your teammates and to go 100%. Because, you know, you know the man beside you do your job. You got you to do your job. Everything works out pretty well. Is, it, is there more of an attitude of toughness? I mean, obviously the zone is different, but it seems like we're hearing more big hits. And you know, oh, yeah, it, you guys can, uh, that's, that's the thing about it. Defense, you got to have big hits in your defense. And I feel like in this defense, it's more opportunity to make big hits. Like I said, make big plays, make more turnovers. Turn Everybody's doing their job. Everybody care to the ball. And that's what I like about this defense. I be, like you said, I've been here for a long time, <laughs> which is really, really kind of, you know, saying shocking. Uh, but I knew my freshman year, but uh, it's, it, I, I, like, I, as a middle linebacker, I feel comfortable playing for the coach Stoops and coach Chelsea. They, they, they're trying to give us every opportunity to make plays and us to become a better defense. And it's showing, you know. I see if it wasn't showing and the results weren't coming out, but it's, a, it's positive results in this defense. And I, I feel that we're going to be pretty good this year. I got, I got lots of confidence in me and my teammates. Everybody playing beside me. And just everybody, we so, everything is falling in sync. With like the, from the DBs all, all the way up to the D line, everybody just they trying to they trying to make plays and we trying to we trying to to, to I don't know the word it ain't coming out, <laughs> but we just we just trying to make plays for each other. It's it's, it's more of a if I do my job right. It's, it's, it, and I know the man behind me or beside me, he's going he to make a play. Like, D, D, D line, putting pressure on the quarterback. And the quarterback throwing the ball. DBs, the, the, the DBs freaking the intercepting the ball. The linebackers dropping in their zone, making it tougher on the receivers to catch the ball coming across the middle. It's, it's, it's all in sync with, with each other. Are the linebackers still moving around? Are you still trying to. I mean, Coach was talking about shifting guys from strong in the middle to, to weak, or are you all kind of settled in now? At yeah, spot? as of now, Coach Tusser, he still wants us to learn. He wants me to learn the weak side and the strong side. You know, he wants not not about him to learn all three positions, Mr. to learn all three positions. It's, that it's everybody, all the linebackers want to learn all three positions because he, you never know what can happen. Somebody can go down, I go down, you might need somebody to play middle that never played before. So we, 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 we learn all three positions. Who's backing up at Mike primarily? Oh, say, As of now, Vince. Vince Williams. Yeah, I mean, I think the main thing is Jeff playing more outside, too. Yeah, because um, Jeff, he played Mike all through the spring, and he's pretty comfortable with, with Mike. So, um, Coach Hutchins put him at weak side. I, I think, in my opinion, I think, you know, 
you start them off at, at Will and, and two days already no Mike and then you know as time progresses and when he become a sophomore junior he can go to all three um, positions by the time he become, become a senior. That's pretty good. Can you talk about Christian? I mean Jeff was here all spring so we heard something about him but how, how talk about Christian? Uh, how are you, how are you um, <laughs> Christian you know you, you, you can definitely tell that he's a freshman but you know he's, he's a um, quick learner him and all um, um, T. Smith and Nigel Terrell he He's a, he's a big, big, all three of them are quick, quick runners. Even Jeff, you know, he, he got the defense pretty quick in the spring. And it, it just, just, they just coming along, you know, home season. He's, a, he's just the smart guy out of the group, you know. And he's a, he's a, he's more of the type of guy that is running, <laughs> running to somebody first and then see what to find out with the ball at. But they, you know, they still, they freshmen. And, and, and every, I feel every freshman experience that, you know, just go hard, play football how you did in high school and, and let, let the, the, the the game of football slowly progress, you know, as the days go by and two days and, and, when, and when two days over with the season come by, go through and go by and then the next spring it just because you just can't come come up to Florida State or any other university and just learn a defense that quick, you know. I accept my role, but <laughs> other than that, it's it's pretty tough, but they they're doing pretty good.